he will be front and center one week from tonight. As it was, uh, that video that came out today uh, was quite something uh, with him sitting on the set and Tom Brady getting drafted and Tariko being the one to do it. I cannot believe it's been 20 years as uh, he's getting ready for yet another draft uh, on the set for ESPN. He is Mel Kuyper, Jr. How are you, Mel? Rich, it's great to talk to you, pal. It's it been amazingly 20 years since Brady was there. I remember when the pick was made. I mean, and, and seeing the video today, what, 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 how did that hit in the Wayback Machine hit you right there, Mel? Uh, I'm telling you, Rich, years go by pretty quick, don't they? I mean, I, I just remember thinking after it was all over and Brady was you know, developing into one of the best of all time that they didn't even take him with their first pick in the sixth round. They took Antoine Harris, a defensive back out of Virginia. And then I remember Spurgeon Wynn went out of Southwest Texas State to the Cleveland Browns. And then here's Brady, a compensatory pick at the end of the sixth round with 199th pick overall. You're going to New England. And if you go back, Rich, New England got nothing out of that draft really except for Brady exactly I mean and that's but that's enough <laughs> yeah, right. hey, 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 you might, hey, if you're gonna have a, a draft with one guy hitting you might as well get the best quarterback of all exactly <laughs> what was your first draft uh, now by the way 37 years ago uh this is your 37th draft that you're you're involved in what was the first one like for you Mel which one was that it's crazy well I had I, I covered the draft in 78 79 putting mm-hmm. out the reports and doing all that first one with ESPN was the 83 season 84 draft now I remember Rich was going up to Bristol it was just one building, one right. little building, and Chris Berman and Bob Lee greeted me at the door, took me down to the studio, and uh, you know it was it was done. Then uh, you know with the, basically the first round, we got into the second round and we signed off. And I just remember doing round one, and Boomer's just saying, "Hey, I've never done much TV. I was twenty, what twenty three years old." And he said, "Just just talk to me. We're sitting at a desk. Just talk to me." And Bob was was the host there, and Chris and I were sitting at a desk, and we just did our thing. They came. We weren't on the main set. The main set was in New York with George Grant and Howard Balls were in. Paul Zimmerman. So huh. we would come, they would come to us and would do our thing, and then would send it back to New York. But it was it was fun. But all I remember is thinking back to then and now. Second round, we were signing off to go to like a boat race or a tractor pull. I bet, I bet. I just remember I was in college, Mel, um, watching it uh, at the University of Michigan, watching the draft with you. And I just remember because you know all my uh, fraternity brothers who are from the Midwest knew I was one of the few New Yorkers in the. In the mix, and then when the Jets drafted Jeff Lagerman, and you went all in uh, against it, they just they they were just they were quoting you directly to my face, oh, Mel, geez. back in the day. Oh, the day those were the days. I wanted them to trade down and still get Lagerman. Yeah, it's amazing how back in those days, you know, we, we weren't doing. And I remember Freddie Goodelli sitting there, uh, Rich, back in whatever year it was. And I right. remember we you know, we come down on the second day of the draft, and we just relax and, and you know dress casually, sit there with our from write down the picks. And, and Freddie was sitting there. I said, Freddie, why are you hanging out on day two so long? He said, I'm just scoping this out because next year we're televising every pick. And now you've done that, you know, you've been doing that. But you know, back in those days, you never thought. Based right. on what was talked about in terms of the draft, and the NFL didn't even want it to be televised, and all of a sudden you'd go from a few rounds to all the rounds and every pick. And that was when Freddie told me that. I was pretty amazed, but I said, "Boy, this draft is coming awful long way, hasn't it?" It sure has. And now here we are in 2020, and it it is something that I think the the entire United States of America. Um, I'll be honest, and and I know this is saying a lot. I think uh, I think we need it, Mel. I think we need it. I think we need it as people to just sit down. I'm getting emotional just even saying this right now. I never thought I'd get emotional over an NFL draft, but I think we do, Mel. I think the whole country needs it right now, Rich. Yeah, I talk to a lot of people, you know, on the phone mostly because you don't have a lot of contact now except with family. And, you know, you think about, you know, people saying, hey, you know, to get our mind off this and just have something to, to focus on other than what's going on in the world and in this country. It's just horrible. And, and to think this is the first, we never thought we'd see it, but we see it and we're living through it. But I think for people to just sit there and watch something that looks normal, looks like things there have continued. We had the combine and then this all happened in March. So at least they got the combine in. And, and here we are with the draft as scheduled on April 23rd, and we're going to have players picked. And It was a TV event. It was never a fan event. It was always just a TV event. And that's what it will be here. We'll be all be on our, uh, in our homes doing it on, on whatever glow point, whatever we're doing it on. And it will happen. And I think for fans, they want it. I've talked to so many people, uh, even with free agency, Rich. They wanted free agency to continue. It gave them something to focus on there. So I think it does uh, you know, contribute to the, the, I'd say, the mental state of a lot of people who need this as a diversion to get away from what's going on. And especially since I think the the initial shock 
uh, from the scouting community. There may be some as well in the talent evaluation community and the management in the uh, at the team level about like not doing the draft in the manner in which they're accustomed to in a draft room with everything at their fingertips and a full medical that's in front of them that I think that that's wearing off and I think teams are ready now I'm wondering if you feel the same way on that front I do and I did from the beginning Rich I I do talking to them they're ready to go there's some concern about your technology and how it'll work there's some concern about if you want to make a trade and you don't have your guys in your room to get the eye contact with and and the hand gestures to say hey you know up or down thumbs up thumbs you can figure it out by that you can't now but they're ready to go most teams are ready to go early I think they also I said this back then there's what's going on now to just have a draft get it done I mean yeah our first responders think about the doctors the nurses I have a lot in my own family nurses and doctors out there putting their lives at risk to help everybody and deal with everybody that's sick and where things they are. So there's a lot more important things to deal with than worrying about how you're going to pick a player. And, I, and ironically, the best drafts in the history of the NFL were in 1971 and 1974 by the Pittsburgh Steelers mm. when they drafted Hall of Famers, some of which came from small schools. And then you didn't have all this information. You didn't have rechecks and this and that and everything you have now and the over-analysis that you have, Rich. So they get, I think they get back now to maybe drafting a little bit better because they're looking at players as opposed to looking at workouts. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.